Yo, yo, what's good, y'all? What's good? What's good? <laughs> Welcome to the podcast. My dog's in the back. You know, they want to wake up now that I'm doing the podcast, but... Welcome to a new episode of Red Lights Don't Exist. They're not there, y'all. It's all in your head. Remember that. <laughs> but, um, man, just blessed to see another year. Happy New Year, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all enjoying everything that's been going on. <laughs> Sitting back with y'all popcorn or whatever. Uh, you know, 2020 was crazy. But 2021... <laughs> It's starting off with a bang, too, man. But uh, I just hope y'all, you know, being safe, man, and uh, just making the best of the year so far, you know, making your resolutions and, you know, just doing doing things to make you happy. You know, that's what it's about because there's just so much going on in the world. You know what I'm saying? We got to do our best to keep smiling, man, and just, you know, keep putting out love and, you know, peace. But um, today, man, I'm going to talk about division, being divided. You know, um, yesterday, we seen, you know, Trump supporters at the Capitol. Um, speechless, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you know, we want to live in a world that's unified and, you know, peaceful. And uh, I know I definitely believe in freedom of speech, you know. If, you know, people feel like Trump was cheated out of out of the election, it's, uh, it's ways to go about it, you know. Um, you know, it's just like, but yesterday wasn't the way to go about it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, you got to you gotta find alter alternative ways. You know, it's like when you're putting people's lives in danger and, you know what I'm saying, and you just out there acting the fool like that. It's just like it don't it don't benefit nobody at the end of the day. You know, and it's it's definitely no comparison to the protests um that happened in 2020 and you know even before that, you know, that the you know Black Lives Matter movement had or just you know just the protests in regards to police brutality in general. You know, you gotta think about it. It's just like a lot of black people lost their lives to, you know, police brutality, you know, just or just senseless crimes for no reason. You know, Breonna Taylor, she got shot for nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? George Floyd, he lost his life for nothing. But this has been going on historically. But, you know, like I said, I don't want to do a comparison or nothing like that. Wrong is wrong. You know what I'm saying? breaking in the Capitol building like that and just putting people's lives in danger, it, it was wrong, man. You know, it's just like, it's just the way that, you know, they went about it was just completely wrong. And on the other side, it's, it seemed a little suspect because, you know, the cops were, and they were, they, they seemed in fear. I seen it was one brother that was, when they was uh, going up the stairs, he had a stick. Like, he was a civilian. Like, he wasn't a trained officer. Well, I don't know what was going on. It's just like, dude, you scared of these, you know, civilians coming in and you backing up and you an officer? This don't seem real. Like, what's going on? Y'all let these people break in and vandalize the building, you know, sit on the steps, you know, be out there for countless hours and it, it just it wasn't no repercussions. You know, we sit, sitting back looking like, okay, where's the tear gas? You know what I'm saying? Where's the rubber bullets? The same thing you did for, you know, black people when, you know, they had their protest, when we had our protest in 2020. You know, it has to be the same energy. It has to be equality. You know, you have to approach the situation the same regardless. You know, so I'm sitting back looking at this. I'm like, man, I'm I'm eating my popcorn. I'm like, okay, it's about to go down. It's just like these fools just walking throughout the building. They sitting in people's, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> offices like it's theirs. It's like, it wasn't no repercussions, man. 
And that's just sad to see. You know, I don't want to see nobody get hurt, but I just want the same treatment as you would give to someone else. That's all we ask for, you know? Nothing more, nothing less. So, you know, we just seen the division that this country has, you know, yesterday. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I put myself in a position. It's just like I'm a 6'7 um, black male. 270, that's my weight. When when I go into places, I'm automatically profiled. People look at me as a criminal, especially if I go into establishments that, establishments that's predominantly white. They're automatically assuming the worst of me. You know what I'm saying? And especially now, it's like we got to wear masks. So imagine me coming in with a mask. You know, it's like they follow me. They looking at me. It's just like, imagine me sitting on that Capitol, at the Capitol. You know what I'm saying? At the steps. You know, protesting. What do you think they're going to do to me? You know, my family probably would have been bailing me out this morning. And that's just the reality we live in. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, it's just tired. Tiring, you know what I'm saying? We just want, you know, fair treatment and equality, man. And it's getting to the point, it's like we're tired of asking for it. You know what I'm saying? It's just like people we've been begging for for years. You know, I heard, you know, Charlamagne talk about, you know, this morning if black people could have been, you know what I'm saying, at the Capitol building for years. We could have been doing a lot worse as far as, you know what I'm saying, rioting and, you know, tearing things up because it's like we've been treated like trash for a long time. So it's just like, you know, we have to, you know, we have to do better moving forward, man. You know, with Joe Biden coming in, man, he got a, he got a lot of work to do. You know what I'm saying? Um... Black people, like I said, we getting tired. You know, I just think that the world is going through a change. And, you know, a lot of, you know, Trump supporters, it's like, I don't, I don't think they're ready for it. You know, it's like, they, they feel like they're losing, they're losing the country or they're losing power or whatever the case may be, you know. But it's just like, the world is evolving. It's always evolving. It's always changing. You know, it can't stay the same forever, you know. But um, it's just too much division, man. But it, the world has been divided for so long. And I think that, you know, when Trump came, Trump came along, you know, people were, you know, before that they were hiding and, you know, with their beliefs and stuff like that. But he allowed people that felt a certain type of way about this country to come out and be like, yeah, this is my country. And I'm, I'm proud to be this, this and that. And, you know, I'm going to rise up. And, you know, that's what Trump brought out. And he didn't do nothing to, you know, die that flame down. You know, he just, you know, ignited it. He made it rise even higher. <laughs> you know, so yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm I'm happy to see that, you know, people are being who they are and stuff like that. So now we know we know where you stand, you know, and we know where we stand. So it's like, how do we move forward? You know, what's next, I guess. <laughs> you know, I guess, um, my answer would be is just be safe out there, man. Protect yourself. Watch over your family and your community. Do the best you can, you know. You know, because sometimes I, I talk to my, you know, my wife is just like, man, this this world is going crazy, you know. You know, you get to thinking about so many different things, you know, biblical things and doing research. And it's just like, it may be true, but it's just like all you can do is Live your life, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Do the best you can. Love on the people you can love on. Put peace and love out there and, you know, keep on trucking, man. And whatever comes to your doorstep, you got to do what you, you got to do what you got to do. But um, that's it today, dog. I just want to tell y'all, man, remember, red lights don't exist. Peace and love, y'all. Keep your head up out there.